to all our friends from all around the world. I just love getting comments from people from different parts of the world. It's so inspiring. Keep them coming. In this video, we're going to be talking about world travel. World travel during COVID on a sailboat. It's not that easy to plan. We're spending the hurricane season in St. Lucia, and in our last episode, we traveled to Rodney Bay to anchor out for a few days. As our subscribers all know, we put our sailing plans on hold when COVID hit, sailed our boat up to Boston where we lived, and then had the boat hauled out in Rhode Island, which has a travel lift big enough for Biotrack. And now we're faced with what do we do next? So. As everyone knows, COVID-19 started at the end of 2019, and here we are three quarters of the way through 2021. We're in a fourth wave. Much of the Caribbean is going through rotating lockdowns. And if we look at South America, many of the countries are closed. French Polynesia is pretty much closed. Um, certain countries are open. Some countries you might wonder if they're safe to travel to because of the high rates of COVID. So how do you plan this? We've joined a rally this year, a rally called the Grand Large Yachting World Odyssey 500. 500 because it's the 500th anniversary of the first circumnavigation by Magellan and Elcano. Pierre and I like to plan well in advance, so we're, we're putting our just in cases in place. What if the rally decides on something that we think is potentially not a good, a, a good choice? What if the decision is not made in time to make a decision? So. Listen in as we uh, talk about some of our planning and how we're going about it. Good morning, we're in Rodney Bay and we're just waiting for the cruiser's net to start on VHF and Pierre and I are just looking at maps and thinking, what are we gonna do if COVID's still a problem when we're supposed to do our around the world? What if the rally is canceled? So we're just kind of looking at some what ifs. Have a look. Well, <coughs> we're in St. Lucia, as everybody knows, and the rally is supposed to depart from Martinique in January which is up here. And then from there, the routing that they've told us about is going down to the San Blas Island, which is over here. And currently, both Martinique and San Blas Islands are closed. Yeah. And then once in San Blas, after a few days layover, we do declaring into the country from there and go into Shelter Bay Marina, which is at the entrance of the canal over here. And then uh, from Shelter Bay, cross the canal and then head into the Pacific for French Polynesia. The World Odyssey 500 is to celebrate the first out na circumnavigation by Ferdinand Magellan and Juan Sebastian Elcano. And they sailed around the world from 1519 to 1521. So they were the first ones to discover the route to the Pacific through the Straits of Magellan. That's at the tip of South America. Magellan actually never made it around the world. He was killed during warfare of the kingdoms in the Philippines in 1521 in Matin, a place where we've been in our last circumnavigation. That's an island very close to Cebu in the Philippines where we spent quite a bit of time in our last around the world because my parents were there doing volunteer work and we decided to join them. The World Odyssey 500 has two different routes, one which is faithful to Magellan's route around the tip of South America We've chosen the tropical route. Being Canadians, we've seen enough cold weather. However, the rally does not intend to go to the Philippines. Rather, they're going to spend the tropical cyclone season in the south, in Australia and New Zealand, where they're going to spend almost eight months. We love Australia and New Zealand, but we travel with a dog, and much of what there is to see is inland, so we'll just return there by airplane. But that may be a long time because this pandemic will have to be over and it's not clear it's going to be over within the next year or even within the next two or three years. Our plan then is not to go to Australia and New Zealand but to divert north around the equator. The cruising is just fabulous. We loved Borneo and being in that area. So during the tropical cyclone season we plan to cruise north and go back to the Philippines, an area of the world we just loved. It would be very appropriate during the 500th anniversary of the killing of Magellan in Mactan Island, which this plaque commemorates. 
History looks different from different points of view, and this plaque describes Magellan's death. The plaque reads, Here on the 27th of April, 1521, Lapu Lapu and his men repulsed the Spanish invaders, killing their leader, Ferdinand Magellan. And thus, Lapu Lapu became the first Filipino to have repelled the European aggression. He's still recognized as one of the great explorers of any time. After Magellan was killed, Elcano took over command, and of the ships that were left, he chose one and sailed off across the Indian Ocean to reach the Atlantic and reach Spain in 1522. He continued navigating and sailing, and he died of scurvy in the Pacific in 1526. In his first voyage, his first round the world, of the 285 men that were with him, only 18 made it back to Spain. As we approach San Blas Island, which over here, we're supposed to do the clearing into the country and then go to Colón for the preparation, the shelter marina for the preparation for the crossing. And there's also a nice little marina uh, over here that is able to haul out boats like ours if we decided to do the bottom because we can't have it done in the Martinique before the, uh, going into the Pacific because as we get further in the Pacific, marinas able to take a boat of this width are starting to get very rare. So if they were ready was to stop in Martinique and not go any further, then we are going no matter what. Uh, you know. And one of the uh, places we really have to go, we committed to, is going over to Mauritius for family reasons. <laughs> so uh, it's clear and uh, they are expecting us over there. It's going to be a big party. So we have to show up there. The date is still open in the air, of course, but uh, we have to go there. It is no doubt. If that is the case, nothing prevents us from going the Amoka route, which is, you know, down the, uh, the eastern side of South America up to about this latitude, which is just basically by Rio. There's several nice anchorages, nice marinas here in this area, nice and safe. And then we'll go from there over directly to South, uh, South Africa with the possibility of stopping and Tristan Island because we go very close to it as a nice little waypoint. So if we don't stop, it's an easy 3000 miles uh, crossing. And if we decided to stop, it's more or less in the middle, so it cuts the trip by half, so it makes it a very, very easy, uh, you know, hop over there, wait for weather, and then go to do the last leg over to Cape Town. So, and then, of course, there, waiting for the weather, once we're ready, we can always swing around a certain dip, and then go uh, up to, you know, Madagascar and uh, Mauritius, and then go back up to the Seychelles, uh, and then just cruise in this area for a while, and depending on, on, on the uh, conditions and everything else, uh, we might decide to go back into Asia directly from there. Uh, either going back north or going down south, and just looking at the prevailing winds. And then uh, going back into an area of the world that we really, uh, really loved. From Sri Lanka over to Thailand and then uh, Singapore, Malaysia, Borneo is all Indonesia here, which is an area that we want to discover. And uh, so it uh, basically has us bypass all of the uh, distance from here to French Polynesia. So according to noon site, as of July 21st, Brazil and Argentina are both closed, making it difficult to contemplate doing this route. The working idea is if a, a country reacted quite strongly the f with the first and second waves, with uh, subsequent waves, they're probably going to react the same way. And, and the French islands have um, really closed everything down. They've even prevented boats from swimming off the end of their boat. And so not a great place to be if there's lockdowns. So that's one assumption if the ready was to cancel and stop in Martinique or close, close to. After Martinique, if the rally keeps going to sandblast, then as we said, you know, we'll just continue with the rally do the clearing and San Blas, go into uh, Shelterbury Marina. Okay, so if we do crossing over to the Pacific, then it opens up a whole slew of other things. Because once we get to San Blas, we don't really want to go all the way back up to, you know, in this place. So that means that we're pretty well committed to the Pacific route. But there again, are lots of choices. 
from here we can go to uh, Galapagos if it's open from Galapagos over to the French Polynesia, Ivaoha, which we've been into, and then go cruise through the uh, French Polynesia all the way up to Papua New Guinea, or you know, and then Vanuatu, and then from there, Solomon Island, and then from there, maybe uh, go up in Indonesia uh, again, and back to this part of the world here, which is such beautiful cruising, and then uh, spend some time there in Silver Valley, which will be between uh, New Zealand and Australia for almost a year. We can explore this whole area here which is just beautiful and come back and join the rally uh, in, 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 in Indonesia here and then from there go back to Mauritius which is our one place to go <laughs> that we have to so uh, that we're really looking forward to it so after listening to this don't get us wrong we really want to do the traditional route and sell to the Pacific. So being stuck in a port in Papiti, which is what happened during the first lockdown, people were desperate to leave. They were taking reverse routes, they were going up to Hawaii, they were finding ways to leave their boat and fly out. So it just wasn't a good situation. If we decided to go down to Panama, and then we there's no reason to go forward uh, in time because of the closure of COVID, uh, I think the uh, eastern coast of uh, Central America has a lot of potential too. There are some places of course you want to avoid but that's good, f that's true for everywhere. Uh, if you just go 100 miles straight west, you're in Boca del, del, del Toro. Right? And it's a beautiful area, we've been there before. And we know they, are, they have some nice marinas there, it's quite well developed. And this is... Beautiful anchorages. This is a beautiful uh, cruising ground. I mean, and then we're at San Andreas Island, I know it belongs to Colombia, but it's off the coast of Panama somewhere there, isn't it? Off the coast of Costa Rica, actually. Um, well, closer, yes. almost near the co Costa Rica Nicaragua Caraguas border. Up here. Yeah. But it belongs to Colombia. Yes, that belongs to Colombia. It's only 177 miles. You know, it's half a day to get there. So Mexico is now. open. Um, so there's not a lot of coast on the east coast, but some of it's very beautiful. And then if you cross the Panama Canal, we know about all of these islands, we've been there. But uh, the tides are big and the water is cold. And then we know Costa Rica has a lot of nice sailing to do there too. If we came to the decision, What's your preference? Stay in I want east? to stay in warm water. <laughs> stay in the east coast? <laughs> stay away from current. <laughs> stay in the east coast? Yeah, I'd be very or tempted. Or stay in the west coast if we have to. Because what I'm afraid of is that we might be forced to make a decision before the rally makes a decision. So I don't have a lot of confidence of about COVID in 2022 right now. Okay, well, so I think just in this nice little circle, there's still a lot of stuff to, to discover. And what, would you, what would you think about, you know, heading off to Tahiti when you're not sure if you're going to be in lockdown when you're there? Well, there are options, eh? If we decided to uh, head to Hawaii, Hawaii is just here. Ivao is here, which is our first landing point. If all hell breaks loose, you could we always could. go north. As Americans, we can get into Hawaii. Anyways, um, wait and see what COVID does. Keep all these plans in our back pocket. Yep. And um, basically, we want to stay safe. And just uh, speaking um, about safe, there's a nice little one preparing itself over there. And uh, the hurricane. Yeah, and look. It's coming, 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 coming. Pretty well straight for us, but now it starts to go north. And that that's becoming a category one and two here. And that's probably a three now. So we've had a beautiful few days. I just love being at anchor. But it's gonna be another lockdown weekend. Not a full lockdown because stores are open, there's a mask mandate, and there's a curfew at seven o'clock. And then on weekends, curfew pretty much all weekend. So they're trying to get the rates down. I hope it works. We just heard today on the on the net that Grenada has closed down. So another wave in the Caribbean. But you know, life goes on, and I think countries are managing it in a little bit more rational way. This is a terrific place to be. Um, honestly, being at anchor on our boat by ourselves is a fabulous place to be during COVID. pandemic I think it could go on for a while so you know as they say um, hope for the best and prepare for the worst 
So we're doing both and we're thinking about you know what we're going to do next if we stay in the Caribbean if we uh, you know if the rally doesn't go forward if the rally takes a route that we don't like uh, so we have our plans and we're trying to put things in order and we're just chilling out me and my dog hey Tinner are we just chilling out? I don't want anyone to think that on BioTrack we don't take this pandemic seriously we take it more seriously than most. I'm doing some volunteer work in St. Lucia to use some of my scientific credentials to help address the vaccine hesitancy, doing some public Zoom sessions. So as always, everybody, please stay safe. Subscribe to our channel, ring that notification bell, please give us a thumbs up, and leave us some comments. We love getting comments. So I guess time to get back to practicing. <laughs>